Right, so this morning we're having another attempt at on uh, getting this engine to run. The cylinder head has just been off to a guy who's um, refurbished it, he's converted it to run on unleaded fuel as well. And this is the process to put the thing back together. I've just um, tapped these bushes back home. Um, I found them in a bag full of bits that he took off. Um, at the machine shop uh, and I can only assume that they go there so they've come out so they've got to go back in so that's them in place all the bolts are in none of them are tight yet um, the rocker shafts to go on next I need to put the valve um, push rods in and then I will um, start tightening it up so the rocker shaft is now in place so I can start tightening this head down. I'm using the drill to start off with because it just does it a lot quicker and I'm not going to any specific torque on the head yet. Um, the way this this is done is it's we're starting from the centre and then working out. So that was number five. Number six is this one. Number seven is that one. Number eight is this one. Number nine. So that's everything provisionally bolted in place. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the torque wrench out and torque them down. Right, so this is an old bar that we're going to torque it down to 65 pounds foot. I'm going to do it in two stages. Um, I'm roughly 35, something like that. So when this thing clicks, then we've got 35 and this is number 2. So I bought a new exhaust manifold, um, the old one I came to change the uh, the studs in it and they all snapped off so I thought I'm not pressing about with it, I'll buy a new one. So these are the new studs that I was going to put in the old manifold, I'm just putting some uh, copper grease on there which will just help, help them if we ever need to take them out again, if someone else ever needs to take them out again. Like so, we've also got some new brass nuts for the exhaust, they should be going on shortly. The only bit that is concerning me is the top four studs which I've not got and I'm going to have to go pretty shortly if I need to go. That's just why I'm doing this now. And the next job will be setting the valve clearances and doing something else which I've got just off the top of my head. Actually, 
them on this now. Alright, save the bag and we'll get on some towels. Right, so after a great grand tour of Derbyshire, I've managed to pick up some new 516th UNF threaded bar to put inside here. Again, a bit of copper grease on there, like so. These bits of threaded bar, they are handed, so there's a, a long bit and a short bit, essentially. Uh, common sense suggests that the short bit goes into the um, cast. Next, it's the gasket, which is here. And I've got some exhaust gasket goo to go on there. If it will come out. There we go. It's been in here some years. And this is assembled up for now. Next job will be to put it in the on the engine. I never thought I would see the day that this thing would spark into life. And I've just put some petrol in. It, the engine's been rebuilt a number of times. Uh, and it's now been bored out to 2.5 litres. And she, she starts. Well chuffed with that. Still needs tuning up. Obviously, there's smoke pouring out of everywhere, um, but it's progress.